What's up YouTube, it's the Action Figure Grader coming back to you with another market update and we'll do something a little different today. We're going to take a look at the Black Series. I picked out a random assortment of different Black Series that sold here recently. Everything from Hascon exclusives to STCC exclusives. Some graded, some ungraded. Pretty interesting data points here. Obviously the Black Series is kind of struggling. There are some really awesome ones that I wish I had the room for in my collection including a lot of the ones in this thumbnail. So let's go ahead and dig in. Uh, the first one we've got is, uh, this is one I always tend to, to want to show in my Black Series updates because the price does not seem to come down on this Jabba's Rancor pit. And uh, this is the Toys R Us exclusive. It's just a massive set. And uh, this box was in pretty rough shape as well. And it did not stop the, the prices, though. I mean, I found several data points. This one sold for $370 plus $1345 shipping. I found two other data points anywhere from $340 all the way up to $390 for the Rancor pit. So that was one that continues to be very expensive. And admittedly, that, that Rancor is probably the best one that's that's has been made so far by Hasbro. It's a pretty awesome-looking Rancor with lots of great paint applications. Uh, next up is Chopper. This is one, it's funny, I saw this one in a Target uh, locally here. It, it, there was like 15 of them, and they were all like, they were on sale for like 10 bucks. It was really cheap. And I was like, ah, I don't need that. I don't have the room for it. Well, I, you know, if you go to eBay now and you look at what Chopper is doing, and I don't know if it has to do with the, uh, the trailer for the Ahsoka series and the fact that they showed Chopper in there or not, but... This one, uh, like a lot of the other Rebels, has really gone up in price. This one sold for $90, $90 free shipping, and uh, that's not the exception. I found several kind of all in that price point. Uh, here was a lot that included Sabine Wren. Uh, it included Ahsoka, Arasandula, and Chopper, so all four of them together. This Chopper, obviously, is the earlier release with the black and red box. And, uh, you know, just an awesome set of the Star Wars Rebels along with Ahsoka. And this one was a, a, you know, a lot of four and it sold in an auction for $169 plus $12 shipping. So again, more interesting data points for the Rebels team. I, I cannot wait to see the new Ahsoka series. I hope that the Rebels are as good as advertised, as good as the comic books and, and the cartoon series. Uh, next up is another tough one. That's, it's, it's really tough to track this one down along with the original issue, uh, Dr. Afra, but triple zero, her murder droid. This is one that's very, very pricey. It's not it's not getting any cheaper. This one sold for $90 plus $10 shipping. And that price point is about right. Uh, there were several kind of all right in that $100 price point after shipping. But uh, that's another one that's very, very pricey and tough to find. I guess they just did not make those in very big numbers. But triple uh, zero, again, $90 plus $10 shipping. Uh, here was the Hasbro Pulse exclusive Cad Bane. What an awesome looking box set. Again, I wish I had the space for something like this because this presentation is really nice. I, I love that Cad Bane figure and the box and, and the displayability of this one's really nice. This one sold for $105 plus $11.45 shipping. I, I saw two data points that were $125 and $135. So this was on the little bit lower end of the price point. There's just some very minor edge wear to the box, which might have held the price down just a little bit. Uh, likewise, uh, this one is a Hascon exclusive for Captain Rex. This is another one that presents really nicely inside the box. It's got his dual pistols along with a larger blaster rifle, uh, you know, four weapons altogether. So Captain Rex is coming to the party well armed. And uh, this one sold for $125 free shipping. So that one is another one that continues to be pretty pricey. Uh, another one that I've I, off and on, I tried to collect. I tried to get this one. I've been on a couple that were graded back in the day when I was collecting Black Series. I never did get it, but that's the Han Solo and Carbonite that came with Boba Fett. This one is still mint in the sealed box. I guess it's sealed. It may not be sealed. Uh, it still has the wrapper around it, but uh, very tough one to track down in clean condition. And uh, that one sold for two forty plus twelve forty shipping. I've seen as low as two hundred and as high as two sixty five for data points for that Black Series Han Solo and Carbonite along with Boba Fett. And uh, here was the SDCC exclusive. This was from 2019 on the foil 40th anniversary card back uh, of Boba Fett with the classic Kenner colors. This is a, a really beautiful example. Uh, I really like how this one looks inside the case. Boba Fett's kind of got his head turned there, but uh, this is another one that continues to be pretty pricey. It's not graded, but 
It's just inside a kind of a acrylic case there. Uh, that one sold at an auction for $150, 35 bids plus $12 shipping. That's down from uh, the highs. I, I, you know, for graded examples, I remember last year these were going even on Facebook for $400 plus. I think I even saw one that sold for like $600. That was AFA 9.0 on the modern scale, uh, and that one sold on Facebook. It was so it's really come down in price. This one looked to be in really clean condition overall, uh, and so $150 is kind of the new going rate for that one. Uh, the Thrawn uh, in the SDCC set. This is one I do have. One of the few Black Series I do have. I got this one AFA graded with the the case opened up. AFA 9.25 on the modern scale. It's a really cool piece. I, you guys see it all the time when I unbox stuff or show stuff from my collection. And uh, that's one I picked up for about 100 bucks back in the day. And then I sent it off to AFA to get graded. Well, they're certainly going for a lot more now. This one sold for $265 plus $26.55 shipping. And then this one sold for $300 free shipping. So a uh, pretty tight price range there. So that one was about, you know, it's about 300 bucks, And that one was about 300 bucks. So... $300 ungraded for the SDCC exclusive Grand Admiral Thrawn box set seems to be the going rate. Cara Dune, that's one that's kind of held its price fairly well. I mean, you know, right after she, the actress, got canned by Disney, this one got really expensive and a number of sellers on eBay, you know, posted for auction or for buy it now situations, AFA graded examples of this one. And uh, they were hitting like $400 plus. This one sold for $81, five bids plus $10.65 shipping. So let's call it 90 to 100 bucks. And I did find several data points that were kind of in line with Near Mint Plus examples for the Black Series Car Dune around 100 bucks. So that one has come down a little bit, but you know, relatively speaking, given the fact that this one's ungraded and you still got to pay 100 bucks for it, I mean, that's a pretty big multiple versus the original MSRP. Uh, the White Box First Edition Mandalorian, I believe this was a Target or Walmart exclusive. I can't keep track of it all, but this is another one that continues to be very, very pricey. This one sold for $139 free shipping. And then here was a UKG 90% example of the number 94 White Box First Edition Mandalorian. This one sold over in the UK for £200 plus shipping, uh, which is about $252 US dollars plus another $37 if you were having it shipped here to the U.S. And that's actually quite a bit less than some of the AFA examples. I think in the last uh, the, the last Black Series market update that I did, there was an AFA-graded example of this that sold for almost double this price. So this one is still very expensive, but uh, relatively speaking, for a UKG 90, that was actually a pretty good buy. Uh, some other AFA-graded examples for the Black Series. This is the 40th anniversary Black Series with the lowercase age text of Darth Vader. So this was the second release. This is not the original release. And you can tell that by the language at the very top in the center of the card where it says Age Edad. That was all in caps for the very first issue of this. So this is the second issue. Uncirculated 9.0. That one sold in an auction for $117.50. Free shipping. Pretty good buy there. Uh, next up was uh, Disruptor, who is a Patreon supporter, full disclosure, but great guy, and I've gotten to know him. He had a number of beautiful black series that were for sale at auction. This was an uncirculated 8.5 GameStop exclusive for the RC1138 Boss Trooper, and that one sold for $101 on 15 bids plus $15 shipping. Uh, he also had the carbonized Mandalorian Scout Trooper. That one also was graded uncirculated 8.5. Well, this one was just 8.5. It, was it wasn't an uncirculated designation, but pretty cool looking uh, biker scout there. That one sold for 60 bucks plus $15 shipping. I mean, it costs more than that to grade it, so somebody got a pretty good deal on that one. Uh, the GameStop exclusive Umbra Operative, uh, the gaming greats. We, uh, we just unboxed one, one of the TVC examples uh, that I have in my collection, but th this is the Black Series version from Battlefront 2. Beautiful figure. I love the paint apps on that one. That one also was an 8.5 on the modern scale. That one sold for $103.50 plus $15 shipping. So uh, another data point on that one. This is one that I really do. I know it's a repaint, but I have to admit I really do like it. This is the Mandalorian and Grogu Target exclusive Arvala 7. It's a, it's a pretty great looking uh, figure there. I love the, 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 the colors on... Uh, that that Mandalorian from the Mudhorn fight. It's just a really awesome looking 
example there. Um, and I don't know if Grogu always came with unpainted eyes, but at least in this example, it looks like his eyes have not been painted. But uh, anyway, that one sold for $103.61. That was 8.5 as well on the modern scale. But that's a beautiful looking presentation there for the Target exclusive Mandalorian with Grogu. Uh, next up, this is one I used to have in my collection. This was like a display case that came with uh, Darth Vader inside like a box set. And uh, this one uh, was graded uncirculated 9.0, the Legacy Pack with Darth Vader Black Series 40th anniversary from 2017. I did have this one in my collection, and I believe I did sell it for almost the exact same price. I think I sold mine. It was uncirculated 9.0 for about $200, and that was like three or four years ago. So that just shows you that three or four years later, the price has not moved at all. So it sold for $182.50. Plus twenty three fifty shipping. I just didn't have the room for it anymore, but pretty great looking presentation. It kind of harkens back to the early bird kits from 1977-1978. Uh, next up was the Toys R Us exclusive Commander Gree. Uh, this was from 2017 and uncirculated 9.0, so very high grade on that one. And the price reflected that, $179.50 plus $10.45 shipping. I mean, given that this one can sell for $100 ungraded, I think that was probably a pretty fair deal for an uncirculated 9.0 and then finally this is probably one of the best in terms of presentation i do like how this looks this one has a french warning sticker this was the black series six inch boba fett in disguise certainly not well disguised all they did was paint in black but uh i love the uh the, the box art on that it's just really cool it's got that little velcro piece that opens up and afa was kind enough to kind of display it open so you could see the figure inside i wish they had used a plastic inner tray to hold Boba Fett inside instead of just little zip ties. That would probably make it present even better. But uh, it does look a lot better inside the AFA case versus, an, you know, an ungraded one. But this was an uncirculated 8.5 again on the modern scale. And that one sold for $187 plus $25 shipping. So beautiful looking packaging there. And uh, I think that was a pretty good buy, really, uh, just given how nice that one looks inside the AFA case. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this look at what's going on in the Hasbro Star Wars Black Series line of figures. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I promise I'll be back soon.